from his injury is B.J. Whitmer. This will be his first matchup back in the IWA since the ankle injury, which put him on the sidelines just about a month and a half ago. Pro Wrestling Noah veteran, trained by Les Thatcher. Also a Sweet Science 16 veteran, competed in the tournament last year. Taking on a man making his debut here in the IWA Mid South tonight. Legendary East Coast based independent wrestler, High Flyer. Very well schooled in both Japanese wrestling as well as Lucha Libre Mexican wrestling, as well as the American style. Can take to the air, submission holes, he can do it all. He might be a small frame guy, but. Lightning Mike Quackenbush. An excellent white heavyweight wrestler, but he definitely has his hands full with one of the members of the superheroes, BJ Whitmer, here tonight in the first round of the Sweet Time 16. wrestling matches. Lightning Mike Quackenbush with a lot of quick maneuvers ends in a kick that ticks down B.J. Whitmer, but he kicks right back up. And the two sort of face off. A shove by Quack, but a slap across the face by B.J. Whitmer. Snapmare by Lightning Mike Quackenbush and a kick to the back. Quackenbush offering his hand, but no! Kick to the side of the head of B.J. Whitmer. And there we go. Excellent at submission maneuvers is Lightning Mike Quackenbush, but B.J., with the assistance of Jim Fannin, gets his foot on the bottom rope and the referee makes him break the hold. Other opening round contests still to come here tonight. We're gonna see Scrap Iron Adam Pierce out of California taking on Chris Hero, the winner of last year's Sweet Science 16 tournament. Derek the Great will be taking on classic Colt Cabana. As a fuck him up chant, yet once again profane from these stupid ICP fans. Collar and elbow tie up once again. BJ Whitmer goes behind and stitches in an abdominal stretch on Lightning Mike Quackenbush. Brent Blades asking him if he wants to give it up. The quack hanging in there. Quackenbush struggling to get out of this abdominal stretch. Hip tosses B.J. Whitmer over. 
And Quack with another snap mare takes over BJ. One more. One more brutal kick to the back of the less stature student and member of the superheroes, BJ Whitmer. Quackenbush has yet to work on that ankle of BJ Whitmer. That is his Achilles heel, if you want to put it that way. Achilles ankle. If anything, don't know how much Quackenbush has been studying IWA Mid-South and what's been going on down here in the Louisville area for the past several months. But you'd think that he would know about that injury. BJ would be lucky to get out of this match without re-injuring that ankle. Hate to say it, but hey, an injury's an injury. Snap there by BJ this time, and now with a knee right into the back of Quackenbush, holding on to the arms, and the referee asking Quack now if he wants to give it up. Bottom of the foot to the back of Quackenbush. Struggling to make his way to the ropes, but Jim Fannin pulling on that gimpy bottom rope of the guy WA ring. Foot underneath the bottom rope. And the referee makes PJ break the hole, clubbing forearms down onto the back. And a forearm to the side of the jaw, lighting Mike Quackenbush back into the corner. PJ Whitmer shoots him in, reversal of the Irish whip, and another reversal shoots PJ in, up and over and out to the floor. And could we see lightning Mike Quackenbush take to the air here, wrestling fans? Asking for the fans' approval, Quackenbush with a front flip senton takes out B.J. Whitmer on the concrete floor. Also still to come in the first round, Danny Dominion, one half of the Hollywood Hard Bodies, taking on the American kickboxer. Suicide Kid, one of the IWA favorites, to take on fellow trainer in the Steel Domain Wrestling School, Sexy Ace Steel. Two kicks by Quackenbush and a leg drop across the throat of BJ. Front flip, sent on, going for the cover now. BJ Whitmer kicks out at two. Steel and Dominion did train CM Punk and Colt Cabana for professional wrestling. Both of them are in this tournament. Black plants BJ in the center of the ring with a body slam. Second turnbuckle on the inside. Another front flip, but nobody home. Lands right on his ass. And a drop kick right to the face. Takes down Lightning Mike Quackenbush. Back and forth we go. Mark Wolf to take on Mitch Ryder. Also in a first round contest. Here tonight at the Sweet Science 16. An elbow by BJ Whitmer, but he only gets a two count off of that maneuver. And grabbing a chin lock is BJ Whitmer again, slowing down the more fast paced, high flying wrestler in this contest, namely Lightning Mike Quackenbush. Brent Blades down, checking to see if that is a choke hold. I don't think so. Also checking to see if Quack's going to give it up. But he still has some fight left in him as the crowd rallies behind West Lawn, Pennsylvania native, making his IWA debut tonight. Three shots to the midsection, but down to the canvas goes Lightning Mike Quackenbush. Doesn't have much hair to pull as Brent Blades warning BJ about a possible hair pull, but quack has got that hair pretty pretty uh, close to his scalp there. Two chops, but apparently not phasing Quackenbush. Third chop. But BJ on top in this matchup at the moment. Shoots Quack into the ropes and a knee to the midsection. Thus far, that injury playing no part in this matchup. Could B.J. Whitmer be 100% at this point? Going for a suplex, turns it into a brain buster, drops Quack right on his head. Going for the cover. Two or three quarters at the last second. Quack raising that left shoulder. Thus 
far we've seen some tremendous high flying, some tremendous chain wrestling, and some great scientific mat wrestling as well in this tournament, along with submission holds and the night's not even halfway over. Snap suplex by B.J. Whitmer as Quackenbush laying flat on his back. B.J. signals that it could be over with. Going out to the ring apron and climbing the turnbuckles in the corner is B.J. Whitmer. To the top rope, he launched himself. Swan dive headbutt, but Quack rolls out of the way. Referee Brent Blades putting a double count on these two competitors as both are struggling to get back to their feet. The fans getting behind Quackenbush with another profane chant. Kick to the knee and palm thrust to the face of B.J. Whitmer reverses the Irish whip. Quack spins over, lands on the ring apron, feet first. Two forearms and a third to the jaw of Mike Quackenbush. Shoulder blocks the midsection, but he moves out of the way and a kick. Quackenbush now. Could he be going for a tornado DDT? Haven't seen that. It done in that in that way very many times. Has BJ on his back. Springboard splash from Quackenbush. One, two, but BJ Whitmer kicks out of it. Amazing high flying and innovative wrestling from Mike Quackenbush thus far. Full Nelson, but BJ counters it. Suplex with a bridge, holds Quack down. Oh, but he breaks it up. Can't get three. Ten minutes have elapsed in the time limit thus far. BJ now sets Quackenbush on the top rope, but Quack. Fighting back, One more. signaling for another tornado suplex possibly. Another slap across the face of B.J. Whitmer in a dazed position. Quackenbush standing on the top rope. Sunset flip, trying to go for a powerbomb it looks like. Holds on to Whitman, sit out powerbomb. Spinning him around. Quackenbush with innovative wrestling has him down but only a two count. Quack possibly could have pinned him if he wouldn't have spun around like a goofball like that trying to show off to these fans. Maybe could have gotten a three count on BJ Whitmer but no. BJ now lands on his feet. Go to the gut of Quackenbush. Sets him up. Could be going for a powerbomb himself here. Quackenbush down to one knee. BJ now trying to pick him up for a powerbomb. Quackenbush, kick to the midsection. Walks those ropes. Goes for a flying head scissors, but holding onto the legs of Quackenbush was BJ Whitmer and has Quack down on the canvas. Now picks him back up. BJ now has Quack up. Powerbomb with authority. And Quackenbush, the high flyer, is down. He is grounded. And a shot to the lower nutsack region of Lightning Mike Quackenbush. BJ now picking to the air himself with a splash of his own. Referee Brett Blaze. Count three. And Mike Quackenbush is eliminated from the Sweet Science 16. And we have a superhero advancing to round number two.